Hi everyone. In this video I want to go over just an introduction to Excel. Let's talk about some of the things that you might use Excel for and just some of the basics to kind of give you an overview of Excel and hopefully get you started on the right foot. So I'm going to go ahead and start my Excel program. And once it comes up here, and mine is, I don't know why it's um, smaller like that, but I click the maximize button here. Um, we're going to just start for this part of the introduction with a blank workbook. There's many other things that we can do and we'll get into those a little bit later on, but for right now let's just click on a blank workbook. Now you can see I have my workbook up here and there's two different things that I really um, want you to understand. The workbook, you can see this is book four, which is our default. It may say book one, book two, something like that. It just depends on how many um, files that you've opened. But the default, that's the default name. Um, now the book, the workbook is kind of the overall holder if you will. Um, you can see down here that I have uh, a sheet tab and it says sheet one. So the workbook is the larger um, holder and the workbook can hold multiple sheets. So as we get in a little further and start working with Excel we'll see how we can have many sheets within a workbook. Okay, so those are two things to really kind of keep in mind when you're like reading about Excel or looking at things, the difference between a workbook and a worksheet. So before we really get into um, some of the inner workings of Excel, let's look at a uh, workbook here that has just one sheet in it and it has many elements in it that I just want to uh, kind of introduce you to. Okay, so when we are looking at this workbook, um, or I should this worksheet within the workbook, I do want to uh, recommend to you that you become familiar with your Excel screen. So like many programs, there's many, many different things you can do up here on the ribbon, um, all sorts of different tabs up here, but do start to become familiar with your Excel uh, window because it is important to um, understand some of this terminology as you start working within Excel. A couple things that I will point out to you, I did mention the sheet tab to you. That's how we can keep track of what sheets that we're working on and we can rename those which we will do um, later on. One thing, if I click inside of a cell, let's say I click inside of cell B4 and here's the column B, here's row 4, so the intersection of that is cell B4. Well, I can tell where I am in my uh, worksheet also by looking in the name box, and you can see as I put my mouse pointer over here, it gives you a little tooltip and it tells you the name box. So that's a great place to help you know where you are in your worksheet. The other main thing that I want to point out to you is the formula bar up here. And you can see again, I get that tool tip to tell me I'm in the, in the formula bar area. The formula bar will tell you really what's residing in that cell. So there's two different things that can be, um, part of a cell, um, content. It can be either a constant value or it can be a formula. So you can see here that this one is a constant value because I'm looking at my formula bar and I can see that it's it's just the number. It's the $68,991.12. But let's say if I look down here, I'm going to click in cell C8. And now if I look up in my formula bar, I can see that what's really sitting inside of that cell is an actual formula. The result of the formula is the 200, 279,000, but what's really residing in that cell is the formula. So again, as you're working through and starting to um, work more in Excel, you'll see that uh, many times you have um, text, and that's also called many times referred to as a label. That's a constant value. But then uh, many times you will have um, a formula and again, how am I going to know that? This formula bar. So if you don't, you know, um, pick up anything else right away, just remember that formula bar is such a great place to look so you can figure out what's going on in your worksheet. Okay. 
Um, let's see, so there's the name box, the sheet tab, the formula bar. Um, there's all sorts of other, obviously, all of these um, buttons on the ribbons. There's the formulas area, uh, and I will talk about those later on. Obviously, we have a chart here, but just remember that Excel um, obviously the strength of Excel is the fact that you can use Excel to do calculations for you, keep track of data in a very um, efficient way. You can show your data in a very visual manner using charting. Um, and even over here, these are called spark lines, and that also sh is a small representation of the data here. Um, but you can also have lists that, uh, um, that are kind of set up in a tabular form. You can use Excel for that as well. So while Excel is very, very powerful with um, doing mathematical formulations and calculations, remember that you could have a list of, um, maybe you have a great DVD collection. You could have a list of your DVDs, um, that type of thing. So this has just been a quick introduction to Excel. I hope that this has been helpful, and I look forward to getting into more with you um, a little bit later on. Take care.